Previous research conducted by UL has shown that the increased use of plastics in residential homes has resulted in fires which are more likely to become ventilation limited prior to fire department arrival. This emphasizes the importance of fire department ventilation tactics. Realistic live fire training is an important tool to help firefighters understand how fires react to ventilation tactics. However, some buildings may make teaching ventilation limited fires challenging. Concrete live fire training buildings in particular often have many building features, such as metal doors and windows, and scupper holes, which a residential structure would not have. While these construction features aid with cleanup and ease of use of the concrete building during training evolutions, the leakage air in the structure affects the fire dynamics. Consider the differences between the concrete live fire training building and the ranch house, used in the horizontal, vertical, and positive pressure ventilation projects. Although the footprint of the ranch house is larger than that of the concrete building, the volume of the second floor of the concrete building alone is nearly twice the volume of the ranch structure. The leakage in the concrete building is also several times higher than the leakage area of the ranch structure. Consider the difference in fire behavior between a furnished living room and a concrete building and a ranch structure. Because of the additional leakage air, the fire in the concrete building does not become underventilated when all exterior doors and windows are closed, as the ranch structure does. The ranch structure behaves similarly to the ideal ventilation limited fire curve, growing after ignition to a point where the fire becomes underventilated, and only growing again once additional oxygen is provided. Instead, the fire in the concrete burn building reaches a ventilation limited steady state, transitioning to flashover when a vent is open close to the fire. Even when all doors and windows to the concrete burn building are closed, the fire is provided a constant supply of air via the leakage points in the structure, allowing it to continue burning without becoming underventilated. Some instructors have found innovative ways to modify concrete live fire training buildings to conduct ventilation limited live fire training. Since this may not always be possible, it is important that instructors and students understand the difference in fire dynamics between their training props and the fire ground.